we realized that uh, for raising capital, it was not very easy and uh, our bankers uh, were not, well, let's say that banks are not that supportive, especially when you have a new innovative idea and a concept which is new. Uh, it's not very easy to get uh, funding. And uh, we did have some form of uh, banking finance, but we realized that as being a capital intensive business, it was not easy to constantly keep raising capital. Uh, which is when I was introduced uh, you know, to the concept and the idea of uh, raising funds from private equity and venture capital. And I came across uh, a few people who I met with and they said that it's a great way to go, it's a good way to scale. And especially since my uh, concept and idea was not just a concept and idea, it had already become a, a scaling model, it was profitable uh, and it had a good reach, I had customers. Things were, you know, I mean, things were good, it's just that there was a limitation for capital and uh, scale, uh, the scale that we wanted, we are not able to get primarily because of uh, lack of capital. That's when we realized that if we can try and look at venture capital uh, and see if we can seek funds from uh, venture capital and private equity, it was going to be probably a better option than going in for uh, any form of other uh, uh, finance. Primarily also because private equity will also give you, uh, you know, invest in your company and take an equity. And uh, there's a, maybe there's a there's a sense of uh, for a, for a startup you always feel that it reduces your uh, liability. Well, it's not really it doesn't reduce your liability. I mean, it's just that when you have a new a new uh, investor in your company and your focus of uh, work is more on your work rather than trying to get around trying to get money and raising capital and all that. So uh, it was probably the right way to go was to raise capital, and that's how I got introduced to this concept of uh, venture capital funding. When we wanted to raise the capital. Uh, First, we had to get everything done in the sense that we had to get a business plan properly formulated, projections, we had to talk to various people, customers, vendors to see how things are going to move in the future and then we made an information memorandum and we put everything together, we even generated, we made a lot of MIS reports, we had a lot of information which we were already slowly building up because we always wanted to become uh, a company of, or a, of a, a corporate kind of a nature and then uh, since we were already on that role, we uh, we had a lot of information already which we sort of tabulated to put it together and we built up a very good uh, documentation uh, before we spoke to an investment banker who would be advising us and that's when we decided that the best way to go is after making this documentation we showed it to investment banker, he got it fine tuned, he got it done really well, properly spruced up and uh, then we thought about the pitch as to who we should invest with, who we should go as an investor, what are the right kind of people, what is the best mix, things like that. What kind of investment did we want? So there were basically whether we should go for equity, whether we should go for debt. You know, we were of the opinion that debt is much better, it always is, I suppose, because it comes at a much cheaper price. <coughs> but uh, we realized that it's always better that uh, if we have an investor and if we can grow much faster, then we realized that debt we could then get from the banks. Uh, once we have an investor with us because that sort of increases the confidence of the banker to also give you the uh, the finances and we decided that equity was the best way to go. Uh, my investment banker advised us uh, of how we should go ahead. So the entire process of valuation, the entire process of arriving at the actual uh, figure was uh, discussed with our investment banker and he was the one really who helped us arrive at the valuation and of course there were lots of negotiations and lots of discussions uh, with the uh, with the, with the with the investor and that's when we finally uh, signed on the term sheet and this whole process uh, you know right from discussion to uh, choosing the right investor to uh, actually signing a term sheet probably took about two to three months for us to really arrive at choosing the right uh, mix of the right person that we want to go ahead with.